What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Black Desert. So this has been a pretty interesting topic that a lot of you guys recommended and had some interest in. So at least on NA, the materials to get a tier 9 horse are scarce. And you guys have been asking, how do you get them? What do you do to uh, get the materials? And how do you go about um, making a tier 9, tier 10 horse? So what I'm going to do is show you what I do personally. There probably are some more like mid-max ways to do it. But just in general, um, if you want a tier 9 horse or a tier 10, the best route, honestly, is to just go buy it off the market. And the reason why is because if you want to make your own, it's probably going to either cost you a similar amount to how much you would just cost to buy it, or it would just cost you more, and it's RNG whether you get the right one you want or not. So obviously, uh, just go to the Stable Master and just go get the one you want. You could filter by Dream Horse, and then I think for the most part, if you want a unicorn or a doom it's readily available but if you want a pegasus those are less common i do see them every now and then but it's not as common um but yeah if you're looking to get a horse as well there's so many benefits of just buying off the market i know it's 12 billion silver but like you don't have to grind it to level 30 you don't have to do the skill set change and if you want all the perfect skills or not perfect but just like you want all of them and i don't know it's really just more time consuming making it yourself but in the case you do want to get it yourself here's some things i would recommend so first of all let's look at the market and i assume that most things are permanently sold out we got all the materials except for the pure forest breath which that one goes doom. So, first of all, let's talk about what materials do what. So, in the box here, if you see strength, like where it says usage, courser, training, strength, and then doom, that one goes to a doom horse. If you look at one that says Ardenaut, that means it goes for Pegasus. And if you look at one that says DNA, that is the unicorn. Now, when you upgrade... It'll give you a box that we'll go look at shortly and I'll explain more but the things that I do is usually I go to my farm and if you go to your farm well it doesn't really I guess it does matter where you place it if you're trying to min max the thing I think mine are reset so I don't I can't get it yet so anyway what you do is when you place your uh, seeds down you'll hit the F5 button I'm not sure what the equivalent is. Basically, you breed it or whatever, and not like harvest whatever you're gathering. So that means you'll get more seeds back, and then you'll also get a chance of more byproducts than the actual thing itself, as well as, uh, yeah, you just, the goal is to keep cycling and not have, or like recycling and not have to rebuy it over and over. So let's say you do that. And now you have some byproducts, which are these things. I'm going to show you how we do this. And let me just go pick out, like, I don't know, 80, 80, uh, 100, 40, Uh, it's like you're gonna have to do basic math and figuring it out then what you do once you have these byproducts is you cook them which is kind of weird right roots and rotting roots turns into horse food like it kind of makes sense but it does it's still kind of weird no matter how you put it okay so after this you could get between one to three uh stone tail fodder from this and this goes for Ardenot, right? And let's go process a little bit so we could uh, have something. And then we might actually have a chance to go for another or go for a tier 9 attempt today. I don't. Do I even have enough crons? I have no idea. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. 
But then, so this is how you get materials when you do farming. That is literally the only reason why I do farming at all. And uh, Master 14. After Master 1, it's kind of irrelevant. Because you get the old moon fences there. And even then, those are kind of irrelevant. It's just, do you want to have more, uh, like a smaller plot to grow your seeds and whatnot? So, yeah. So after, that was step one. Set up your farms. You could have uh, 10 by 10 if you wanted to. That means 10 plots, and then you could add 10 seeds if you wanted. I think we actually got kind of lucky, and we propped a lot of threes and twos today, actually. Um, got one more set over here. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is... Go and get a Krogdalo stone. Now you need this to upgrade as well. And then the way you can get it is two or multiple ways. One, you can combine 25 of these swaying thingies and 25 yellows to get it. Or you can just buy it off the market, which is probably what I'd recommend because it's easier. Whichever one is cheaper at the time, just do that. So yeah, now we have a Kragdala Origin Stone. So what else do I do to get materials? Um, besides the events that they kind of give us, like a lot of random materials sometimes. Yeah, like these conch shells. Let's go to the Stonetail Horse Ranch because that's the place you're going to go to get your stuff. Um, I Hold up. Do I have... I do not have enough crons, so we're not doing an attempt today, but maybe another time. But I'll show you what you have to do. And how to catch a horse as well. Which I should actually be doing myself for tier 10. So this is something you should do as well if you plan on going for tier 10s in the future as well. Is that one is a huge step and it's kind of annoying and very expensive. I got extremely lucky with mine, but I know there's some people still trying to get theirs after a year. And it sucks. It's a flat 3% from a tier 9 to tier 10. And you just pray it goes one day. Okay, so let's say you're at the stone... Stone Tail Horse Ranch. What do you do? There are a few quests you take. Um, one of these would be like this quest right here. Uh, basically, what you do is catch a horse. And then there's another quest over here. You take the weekly. And that gives you the royal things. Also, you don't really need this one. So basically, we have to catch two horses now. And what does this stone do? The weekly, it gives you 30 fir fern roots. And you need a total of 100 to do uh, some crafting to be able to craft the item for a tier 10. But anyway, that's a little bit more late game stuff. But either way, I would just collect them weekly. So here's how it works. You have your tier 8. And what to look at when you're doing it? So if your tier 8 has a golden horse head, that means it's a courser. And that means it, you, it's able to be upgraded to tier 9. And uh, if it doesn't have the golden thingy, that means it still needs work. But if it's golden, that's what you want to look for, especially if you're buying it. So here's what we look at. So your goal is to get it to 200% with the Krogdala Origin Stone, right? And the way you do this is skill is Ardenaut, Elegance, or like Pegasus, Unicorn, Doom Horse. And basically you want to get the number higher on what you want. So like, let's say you want a Unicorn. You want to try to get Elegance closer to 100. Obviously it's still RNG, but like in terms of math on paper like in theory 
you have a higher chance of getting a unicorn then second would be a doom and then third would be a pegasus however rng is rng and ultimately if it's your first one there you you could like a hundred and hundred and guarantee two out of three but at, in the state of where i am i just use the materials i get and we're praying for it and then the fail stack you get one every time you fail each attempt is what like 350 mil in turn in materials assuming you are croning it which you should always cron um horse attempts even at zero stacks you cron every attempt and then you goes up 0.02 percent every time it fails it sucks i hate it i wish it was one percent for fail um so yeah basically that and yes yeah, make sure to collect one of these always cron it and then collect materials can so let's go into the part where we catch a horse uh let me see i might have some extra extra horse materials if not you just buy it from the npc or you can just buy it off the central market so what you would look for is rope you could buy this off the npc but for the sake of like demonstration purposes let's just go buy it and then you you're gonna want some sugar which i i'm not sure can you buy this off the npc i think you can um okay so there are multiple places to catch a horse oh i did have some extra Ooh, okay whatever so here's where i go it's a little bit out of the way but i usually just go over here i know for a adventure journal there's something where you catch it like somewhere around here which is actually a lot shorter like you would just go down somewhere around here because i know there's ro uh actual horses like just wandering there but i like to go the long route because i know like i only know where certain amounts spawn like i'll see them in the wild but then just forget they exist but yeah just go to wherever that you remember they spawn i only know like two or three different spawns also some areas are a little bit more populated than others I really wish they would rework the mini game to catch a horse because it's kind of obnoxious and <laughs> I kind of hate it but for the sake of demonstration I'll show you how it works you're probably gonna hear some keyboard spam me mashing the button in about a few minutes but we'll sh I'll show you how it works it is kind of obnoxious but we'll get to it Oh, that was kind of weird all right so i know i probably took a long route to find a wild horse but this is just the one i go to it's i do it once a week so it's not really that big of a deal but if you're doing the material thing daily then yeah i'd probably find one closer okay so basically it is somewhere around here oh, there we go wild horse all right, so a little thing that I do, since I play a little bit differently um, in terms of hotkeys. Where is my... Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, get your rope. Where did that horse go? Did that actually just like, lit oh, never mind. It hid in the bush. All right. So you go to a thing. And then you rope the horse and then you get closer. And then once you hit the space, you have to make sure your bar is like on the other side. Whereas if the other uh, more red, less blue. And then when you win the mini game, you get closer. And then you play that game until you get super close and then once you get close you feed it sugar multiple times i don't know how many to be honest it was never really explained to me people tell me so many different numbers okay so once you get close to it you feed it sugar 
That's why we bought it. And I don't know. I've heard so many different things. Like, if your level of horse training is lower, then you need more. But at the same time, I've used between 2 and 10. And sometimes I've gotten it with 2. I failed it with 10. I don't know. I just use kind of like... I guess more is better. It's like a hidden higher chance. The more you feed them, I actually have no idea what the hidden percent is. But uh, uh, just give it five. And then if you think that's enough, you mount the horse. And then that's how you capture the wild horse. And then what do you do after it? What tier is this actually? Uh, oh, yeah. We have to like register it. Stuff. Okay. So now that we captured the horse... You go back, and the horse will follow you. So what you're going to want to... Oh, God. Hold up. Yo, I forgot that was still on space, and I just tried to jump. Imagine having a tier 10 that can't jump over fences. Sag. All right, so what do you do? You go back to the stable master person. Your horse should follow you. And... Might only be a second until it gets, like, closer or whatever. I don't know where my horse is. <laughs> it will follow you, trust me. Just when will it get to you? I might have zoom zoomed a little too fast. Okay, there it is. I see it. I did see it. Oh. Oh my god. Come back. <laughs> this is like so weird. Okay. So, you bring it over here. Get your stable horse. You see this? The captured horse that we got? It is... Cool, we, cut, we captured a tier 3 horse. It's garbage. What do you do with it? You could sell it. You get 38,000 silver. Kind of bad. It's gone. And yeah, now what do you do? Uh, hold on, let me see. Is there... Alright, actually... Um, there is zero shot I'm spending 120 mil on crown stones just to do an attempt and then fail it and then feel bad. Okay, so now that we got that, we go back to the stone tail ranch to turn it in. Then we get some extra materials. So, to give you an idea, I guess while we're riding there, what do the fern roots do, and why did you just do that quest? You collect them here, and you turn them in. You get flowers of oblivion by, um, like, imperial delivering horses, and basically that means you trade in your horse for seals and like fern roots or whatever. So when you do that, it gives you the flowers, and you use the flowers to combine it into a mythical sensor and that's basically when you have two tier nines and you want to combine it into a tier 10 and do an attempt uh doing tier 10 horse attempts is really just a money sink and even if you get a tier 10 it like stat wise it's the same as a tier 9 which kind of is really shocking when i found that out too and so the only thing they have different is a few extra skills and obviously it looks different but a few extra skills that you don't really even use on the regular so yeah unfortunate even with the new tier 10 unicorn that they came out with recently i haven't really seen many people um 
riding around with it. When I asked some of my friends and guildies who have it, they're just like, yeah, I prefer the tier 10 Pegasus more because it still flies. And the idea is with the new unicorn, you could fly or not fly, but like ride on water. Okay, so reward, pick the one you want. Um, ultimately, just preferably don't pick the Doom one. So then we go over here, turn it in, get your 30 weekly fern roots. If you don't think you'll need it, just keep doing the quest. You'll need it one day and then you'll be like, oh, I'm glad I did him. So yeah, that's basically it. This is what I do. What in the world? So yeah, when you get these, they're 2% instead of 1%. And Cronet always, but hopefully you learned something. Um, in case you guys didn't know, it wasn't really like explained well when you do your farm things. That's why a lot of people don't do farming because it's not profitable. But hopefully you learn something new and what those byproducts are actually for. Don't just sell them to the vendor. And yeah, you turn them into horse materials and you do, you get more stuff and then you do clicks. Yep. So basically this one is just a huge money sink. As I said in the beginning, if you're trying to go for a tier nine, just try to buy it off the market. Honestly, it's so much easier. But with that said, I think I'm done. Hopefully you learned something. And if it didn't make sense, Please ask a question in the comments, join the Discord and whatnot. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys may have. So, I'll see you guys later, and have a fantastic day.